Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video we will learn filter function in Excel. Filter function basically filters the data according to your criteria and you can also filter your data from here. Like here I want only the black color data then I can select black and press OK. So these are the product details of black color only. But in Excel, we also have filter function which we can use to get answers in a separate columns or rows equal to filter. So this is our table array. Now in include argument, here in include argument, I want to put my criteria. Like here, I want the details of only those products whose net price is more than 20,000. So for this, I will use my net price column which is greater than 20,000 and close the bracket. So these are all the products whose net price is greater than 20,000. Now what if I want only these two columns and in between these two columns, there are four more columns which is present in my source data. And here I don't want these four columns. I want only my first column and my last column. And for this we can use filter function. Now first of all let us use filter function equal to filter. This is my table array. And now in include argument I want the net prices which are greater than 15,000. And press enter. So these are the details of all those products whose net price is greater than 15,000. Now I want only the product name and their net prices. I don't want these extra columns. So for this I will make some changes in my formula. First of all I will use, I will again use filter function here equal to filter. And now this is my table array which is my filter function. Now in include argument I will use curly brackets. And now here I want only my product name column and the net price column. So for this my product column is column number 1. So I will type 1 here because I want this column. Now my, now my second column is date column and I don't want this. So I will type 0. Now for color column also I don't want this. So I will type 0. And for unit price also I will type 0. And for quantity I will type 0. And for net price here, I want my net price as my answer. So here I will type 1. Now close the brackets and now press enter. So this is how you will get only those columns which you want in your data. And here 1 indicates as true and 0 indicates false. Which means that if you type 1, then you want that particular column. And if you type 0, which is false, so it means that you don't want that particular column. So this is the first way of getting only those columns which you want out of your data. And now if you want to sort your data, then also you can do it. We can use sort function. And now for sort, this is my array and sort index. It means that you want to sort your data according to which column number. So I want to sort my data according to my column number 1 which is my product name and I want to sort it in ascending order. So I will type 1. So now all the products are sorted in ascending order. And if you want to sort your data according to your net price then you can type 2 instead of 1 here in sort index like this and press enter. Now my data is sorted according to my net prices in ascending order. And now if you want the unique values only, then also you can use unique function here. Like in my data, I have product 5 whose net price is 20,000. And again, I have product 5 whose value is 20,000. And for product 1 also, I have the net prices which is 30,000 each. And if you want to find out only the unique values then also you can apply unique function here in your formula now close the bracket from here and press enter so these are all the unique products 
necks and their neck prizes which are sorted in ascending order now the next way of getting the columns whatever you want out of your data with the help of filter function is with the help of or condition so again i will use filter function and this is my data array and now in include i will use or condition and for this i will select my headings which is equal to product name and close the bracket now type plus as a criteria for your or condition now again i will use my table headers and now i want the table header which is equal to net price now close the bracket and press enter so this is how you will get only two columns that is product name and net price column and if you want to sort your data then you can use sort function here also hope you will like this video and thank you for watching